Bob, how are you, sir? I'm good. How are y'all? Right, man. Welcome good. to the car show at Mike Bell Chevrolet. I'm glad to be here. Dude, that's no Chevy you brought today. That is a Studebaker. Yes, sir. A 36 Studebaker. 36 Studebaker. Wow. It was purchased new by the original owner. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know who it was. Somebody bought it new. And Somebody bought it new. In 36, <laughs> I didn't. Okay. Uh, uh, I got the car out of California in 2008. All right. It had been street rotted, but it wasn't finished. Mm -hmm. It was off the road for 30 years. Two different owners had it over that time frame. Mm -hmm. now, there's the California tag on it. was on when I got it. Cool. And uh, it had five colors of primer. It had no seats, no interior. Wow. No chrome was on the car. Some was plated, some wasn't. It had uh, uh, no glass in the doors. Okay. And no running boards. It came with nine boxes of parts. Yeah, all right. And I had it shipped east to where I lived at the time near Niagara Falls, New York. And uh, I... Uh, a buddy of mine has a restoration shop right near there, and he had it for a year and three months, did a beautiful job restoring it. Okay. And the color I picked, the dark purple from a die-cast 36 Ford model car. Okay. And I took it into the paint store, and I said, you can match this. The guy's like, I match anything. And then he proceeded to mark the can model car purple. Wow. And, uh, about that. And the lilac I got from a bunch of car samples, color samples, mm -hmm. and then a, another buddy of mine's a pinstriper, and he did the pinstriping on the car and the firewall, and dashboard, so on. Okay. And for the car, I just wanted him to match my rings, because I wear a turquoise, and <laughs> so it's turquoise pinstripe. Okay. Well, it, I gotta say that the color choice is beautiful, man. It looks great on the car. Well, thank you. Yeah, let's step a little closer. Sure. Check it out. So. Uh, do we have the original running gear in this thing? No, sir. It's a uh, originally the, the Studebaker Dictator was a flathead six. Okay. They made a, a larger model, a Studebaker President, and that was a flathead eight. Mm -hmm. This originally had a six in it. It was called the Dictator, but they Studebaker dropped that name in 1938. Okay. And 39 came out as a champion. But anyway, this engine was in the car when I got it. It's a 350 Chevy. It's got a nine-inch Ford rear. Uh, it's a good runner. I've had it on the road since uh, September of 2009. Okay. It's won a lot of trophies and shows. I've taken a lot of shows in Canada because yeah. I lived on the border. All right. And uh, wow. it's, uh, I've had it at a show in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, which is 90 miles north of Philadelphia. Yes, sir. It's a town my daddy grew up in. And my granddaddy had a jewelry store there and the building's still there. The building's over 100 years old. Wow. Okay. And they have a big car cruise there. Uh, it, uh, they get like 1,500 cars. Okay. It's sponsored <laughs> by the local Lions Club as a fundraiser. And yeah. I took it down there, and it won, first year I had it there, it won Best of Show. And they put it on the event shirt the next year. All right. They put it on the shirt. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's kind of neat. Nice. Not to, that's a tribute to the guy who restored the car, not yeah, to sure. me. And uh, I met uh, Dennis Gage was there at the next show, and uh, Wayne Carini. I met him there. The guys are okay. on TV. Yes, sir. And... Uh, but anyway, I, I've driven it down there. It's a, it was a 700-mile round trip from where I lived at the time. Yeah. But I would uh, I would drive it, and uh, it's got air. It's got all the modern conveniences, power brakes, power steering. But the body is all stock, and uh, I like to keep it going. I ain't got to say nothing. This guy, he'll give you all the info. Man. I, he, you answered every question I had about the well, car. I, I, belong to, <laughs> I, 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 go, I go to on and on meetings. Okay. It's right. an organization where people go on and on. On and on. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> guy here is a jokester. That's cool, man. Dude, dude, right. that's awesome, man. Okay. That's a wonderful story about the car. I mean, uh, the color choice, the, you know, you got the Chevrolet power plant in it. Mm -hmm. The, the body is beautiful on the thing. The body is... And, uh, and you, you drive this thing drive around it. all the time, don't you? drive it. No. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've seen a bumper sticker I should get. It says, yeah. if you see this car in a trailer called 911, yeah, it's been exactly. stolen. Yeah, that's No, right. I drive it. I drove go. here from Tyrone this morning. Yeah. It's about a 40-mile drive. All right. And uh, But I uh, I enjoy driving it. It rides nice, and mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I get a lot of fun with the car. The white paint on the firewall makes the engine bay look a lot cleaner yeah. man it, it looks yeah. nice and clean yeah it, it shows off everything quite that, well that was my buddy's idea who painted the car he said let's make the firewall white sure and then my other friend who was a pinstriper he, he did yep. the striping on there okay the downside might be you got to clean the firewall you do yes you do <laughs> you yes you do got to clean the firewall but hey that's all right you probably love polishing on the old car oh, anyways yeah. right you got a lot of polish Beautiful, man thank you the color choice thank wow you. man 
I know it, it does pop out. Yes, it does. <laughs> it does pop out. Let's, uh, how about popping a door now? Let's look at the sure, interior. Sure, we can do that. It looks like the interior is about the same color as the firewall. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is that all leather in there? It's uh, vinyl. Okay. Here's the door. Yep. Got a remote in his pocket that yep. pops the door. Yeah, let, let Dollar Bill get in there with the camera and check it out because the gauges are outlined in the uh, same color as the car. We got a, the That's seat, pretty. The seats are out of a uh, K car. My buddy had them in his shop because there were no seats in the car when I got it. Okay. And he said, uh, these will fit. You can have them if you want them. Yeah. And then I had the upholstery guy look after them. And... That's cool. Yeah, watch your toes. We got a guy backing in here behind right. us. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, somebody did some cool airbrush work on the dash, the yeah, uh, the, yeah. the seat frame. The seat frame there, oh, and yeah. that center console is not stock. My friend who restored the car, he designed and built that. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know he was building it. I came yeah. to the shop one day and I saw it, wow, that's perfect. And it's got the lighter in there and a knob for the windshield wipers. It's got air conditioning. Every time you climb in this thing, it's an honor to drive it, man. Look at that. It's a oh, work of art on the it interior. Is. Yeah, it is. Just as well as it is it on really the outside. Is. The, guy did, the upholstery guy did a wonderful job. Gorgeous, man. New headliner in it. Wow. And some armrests. These are... Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Uh, All right, Bob. And uh, so we keep it going. We like you to know, drive it. You know, when you when I first saw you in here, you you, I thought, look at that Ziffer. You know, if yeah, a lot of people the, think it's a Lincoln yeah, Zephyr, yeah. especially the, the rear tail. Sure, if you the yeah. first glance on this thing, you would think it was the old Zephyr Lincoln. A lot of people think it's a Zephyr because yeah. that rear trunk is the same lines, basically, mm -hmm. as a sure Zephyr. And they made a three-window coupe. All right. And I always like that. You're beautiful riding, sir. Well, thank you.